right, so I'm in the driveway right now, just showing you the truck. And um, this just had a whole bunch of wood and metal fencing pieces on it because we're redoing the, the dog pen for the puppies. So, well, get it done quick then. <laughs> um, we need to get this done today. Look at the lawn. It's autumn. It's actually a night. It's actually not cold out right now. Not cold out today. It's in this. Do you know how cool it is out right now? Uh, I think it's like low 60s right now, which is actually pretty warm. Um, right now you can see the pieces of the fencing on the ground. This right here was just finished yesterday. It's like a well, kind of like a stone patio surface almost and it'll be great for them if they have to come out here you know to poop and pee at night or whatever we can just easily clean it we can spray it off hose it off take care of it really easily so <clears throat> they can go in through the slider in and out through the slider so this is for ease Tony's actually getting ready to make some stairs he made the last steps I want to say probably around 13 or maybe even longer than that 14 years ago maybe even longer than that actually but we just ripped them up and we got some new material to make stairs with. This is all the old stuff right there. Someone's gonna come get that. I'm not sure when. Soon I hope. I don't want it there when snow falls. But this is what the yard looks like right now and um, I'm not sure how much footage I'll get between now and when it's finished. Um, the pups are inside and I don't want to leave them in there too long by themselves. T goes out the door, he's waiting to come out. He is not coming out. Yeah. <laughs> he is not coming out. He has an affinity for the woods, so he's staying inside because we're actually busy out here. Ta -da. All right, so I. Huh? Snag number one, maybe. Okay, this is about, I want to say 30 minutes after I just filmed the, the segment before this. And so far right now, got one thing up. He put uh, the left the left side of the stair. What is this called? Like the brace? Uh, Whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Um, it's the basically the base of the stairs. Um, the left side is on, and it's being held on there by this. I'll show you. Hold on. Gabby. Hey, Gabby. Gabby. Khaleesi. I say. I know. I say hi, Gabby. Is there? <laughs> That's Gabby. Nuts. I know. I say Gabby and then she starts talking. We call her Gabby because she's Gabby. She likes to gab. And then Khaleesi is right beside her. That's her little sister. Our little sporty spice. What are you doing over there? So one, two, three, four, five. These uh, stair bases over here, they came with six steps, and we don't need six steps. Yeah. Yep. There's something in the woods over there. 
It's probably just a squirrel. <clears throat> they sound like they're huge and they wind up being about this big. There's something out there collecting nuts, I think. There's a big nut right here. <laughs> What's the matter, Gabby? Good girl. Is it even? It's not flush with the wall. Yeah. Maybe the end one, huh? Put the middle one. Alright, so he just cut this one over here, and he needs to cut one more, just like these two right here. There's going to be three sets of these, well, three pieces. Springers. Springers. Stringers. Stringers. <laughs> That's not even natural, the steps. The word, are you sure it's called a stringer? I think it makes more sense to call it the base of the steps but it's technically called a stringer. Yeah, I would have to memorize that. Anyway, one, two, and then there will be a third one. We only had two before. We've had stairs at least once before, maybe twice, but we've only had, we only had two stringers before, but these dogs are more than twice the size, more than twice the size of, because yep. the, huh? already as big, Tico's already as big as Raleigh ever was. Yep. We, um, we had border collies before, and their heftiest weight, their heftiest weight should be around 45 pounds, but um, they were chunky. Uh, they were our big boys. But now we have oh, baby, I'm sorry. Bernie's Mountain Dogs, and um, Tico's, actually their dad is the same dad. So their dad was, well, 120? 125. 125 pounds so we expect that they'll be probably between 90 and 100 pounds maybe 120 pounds so we're doing three steps it's not just for now three I know stringers. three stringers and five steps uh, one, two, three, four, five steps, five steps. <clears throat> we're doing five steps instead of six so it doesn't take up too much space in here but also we're doing the extra support just uh, for when they get older. Sometimes when, well, the health issues with Bernie's Mountain Dogs include hip dysplasia, among other, th among other joint issues, um, cancers that af affect the joints and the bones and things like that. So we're just preparing for having to walk up and down these stairs side by side with the dogs because we never had to do that before. We could just pick up the border collies and bring them inside, but I, at 120 pounds, if they max out at 120 pounds, <clears throat> I don't see that that is gonna be a viable option for us. Especially if they live to be 12, and Tony's already, how old are you? 54. So 12 to, on top of 54 brings us to 66 years old, that's, that's pretty old to be carrying a 120 pound dog from the ground up, you know, it's not like you're, it's not like he can curl it, he'd have to, we'd have to put this special harness on, which we already know, because we had to use for Raleigh. We had to use a special harness for Raleigh when he was in his final days, and it, it has like handles on it, so you have to lift with your legs and, and stand up and walk with them, so having, 
having three of these and a super wide stair setup will will help us be able to do that better for them. So they'll be able to come in and out of their natural habitat in their final days easier. I know it's kind of morbid to think about, but it's always good to think ahead because we kind of found ourselves in a situation with Raleigh at the, at the end. It didn't last very long. Raleigh left us pretty quickly, but it was kind of a little situation. So we're going to avoid that by preparing ahead of time. Okay, so the stringers are up. As you can see, the stringers are up. And now is the time where Tony's actually going to put the step parts on. I guess it's not raining anymore. Um, he's going to put the step parts on. He told me he's going to do it in an organized manner so I can do a... Um, so I can increase the speed and show you how how fast and easy this one on. I'm going to do like a different video presentation here as soon as he starts. Fires what happened? Fires rise and eight. We have the stringers in place and we are about to put the steps on there. We're just going to place them on. And I'm going to place one on at a time and I'm going to put six screws in, two into each stringer. Hold it all together so it's nice and steady. We have had a minor change of plans. Tony figures that maybe if he pre-drills the steps, this won't take so long. It sounds like a master plan. It's genius. I can see his head growing right now, right in front of my... Look at it. Anyway, he's thinking ahead. Is this pre-drilling again? This is pre-drilling. So what I'm doing is I'm drilling a hole through the wood. So when the screw goes in, it doesn't spread the wood out and split it. That is not what I thought pre-drilling was, so... Drilling what? Well, drilling a hole. I know, but before you put the step on, which I really didn't want to see because I wanted to know how you would do that. But in fact, the way I had it in my mind, the reason why it would have been so impressive is because that way will not work. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not putting the steps together. That's why he's putting the steps together. All right, I'm gonna put this around. He's the star of the show right now. Steps are done. 